the point about communication, I was thinking about this recently that I feel like, especially with the internet and online and YouTube and video formats becoming the dominant format. And I was reading something recently about how even Facebook and Instagram, to some extent, the reason why they're pushing reels and they're the kind of medium that's currently getting a lot of traction. Right. One, they're trying to copy and get some of the uh, success from TikTok, right? But on another point, I feel like eventually the top communicators rise in terms of all of the different fields. And this used to be a bit of a debatable point in Dawa. People still make it and it's true in that don't go for just charismatic speakers because essentially that's not necessarily directly proportionate at all to actual knowledge or ilm of the deen Different. or even piety, right? Different. But unfortunately, human beings, especially those who aren't classically trained as most people are in any field, like say, if you want to work with a psychologist, you're not going to have the same training. So you're going to go by more base human level assessors of value. Mm -hmm. And one of the main ones is communication. Like you mentioned how well someone communicates, how charismatic they are. Mm -hmm. So I feel like what you said about psychologists trying to psychologists taking more of accepting that responsibility, having ownership over that, like trying to improve their communication. I feel that that goes in all kinds of fields where people have this same concern about, oh, this person is just a communicator, you know, yeah. this person is just good at talking, good at, but they're going to take the lion's share of the audience, aren't they? So yeah. uh, unless you've got something further to add to that, I can move on to the next. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just, just two or three points. Yeah, sure. There's a, there's a very famous book called how to win friends and influence people written by Dale Carnegie. I think it's the most bought book in the English language. I think I'm not sure on that. And he writes in a very famous, famously that humans are emotional beings, not logical ones. That's a very, very potent phrase. Humans are emotional beings, not logical ones or something to that effect. And this is, mm. this is demonstrated in this notion where humans will generally follow people who are good at speaking. And without getting too political, there was a reason why Trump got elected in the States. It's not a logical decision. It's an emotional decision. Mass emotion. Because <laughs> logically speaking, <laughs> brother shouldn't have been in that position. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's an emotional world. That's proof of that. So yeah. got to accept that, that actually, okay, humans work this way. And what we know about spirituality, what we know about it, even the dean or being psychologically trained, it's about touching us a slightly higher level of consciousness where we are actually more logical, where we are actually more pragmatic. When you look at the Quran and you look for evidence, you're not just following, oh, I do this because it takes me to feel good. No, you're looking for the evidences. And this is a wonderful kind of segue as well, because Islam promotes that. Islam promotes logical thinking yeah. and empirical, ba empirical yeah. based thinking. So yeah, humans, yeah. we've got to be, we've got to be more that way inclined as well. So psychologists need to take that on board and to understand that, listen, we've got to be better than everybody else that communicates. If someone who's not classically trained is a really good communicator. We have to be better at communicating than that guy. And until they take that ownership, nothing will change. <laughs> we'll continue yeah. on this way. Yeah. But in the Islamic field specifically, there's a, a responsibility on those kind of charismatic speakers, let's say, to also funnel the audience towards proper scholars or classically trained scholars exactly. and kind of inculcate that mindset of trying to train the audience to be more discerning, just like how it's become a cultural norm, like you mentioned, to go to medical doctors for medical issues, right? Yeah. It's just a cultural norm, isn't it? Whereas say with nutrition advice, it's not become a cultural norm. So people can listen to some guy who's promoting the carnivore diet and try that. And then the next, they can listen to someone who's a vegan. There's not that, there's not that kind of cultural element of, oh, I've got a nutrition question. Let me go and see a professional nutritionist. And lastly on the communication issue, because I was thinking about it recently. And one of the reasons I was thinking about it was because of the rise of this personality called Andrew Tate and the, why that was interesting, <laughs> why that was interesting is because essentially Andrew Tate, you have to say that he is a charismatic individual in terms of he has an ability to speak fast. He incorporates humor and then he also uses the strategy of creating like a scene and using controversy and all the rest of it. And 
a lot of Muslims have become somewhat negatively impacted by what he says. But the point is, unfortunately, I would say most people can't replicate that. As in, now I've already started seeing the trends amongst certain online marketers where they're like Muslim selling Muslim investment courses or something. And they'll start off about, oh, do you know about the those of the Ashram of Ashra, like the, the those of the 10 companions that were millionaires relatively, right? And it's all nice and Islamic terms and all the rest of it. And then towards the bottom, they used to, if you don't want to stay a bum, then you need to take action and trying to incorporate that controversy element as well. And I was like thinking like people are going to try it, but unfortunately not everyone's going to be able to execute on that level. Not saying that he has praiseworthy points, but he has praiseworthy kind of charismatic elements that they won't be able to replicate. Um, sure. But yeah, anyway, before going too much into <laughs> and all the rest, let's get this. <laughs> I love you laugh, mashallah as well. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.